So this is my first video post, so bear with me a little bit if I flail around because this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. But lately I've been getting asked a lot about uh, what got me into the fitness industry, what got me into bodybuilding, what got me wanting to become a coach and personal trainer. And I think it's really important that I put myself out there and let people a little let people know a little bit more about who I am and why I got into the industry how fitness has changed my life and um, what we're going to talk about today is something that it goes into a little bit of a deeper topic and the reason that I'm doing this is because I want people to understand that there's somebody out there if you're going through a struggle in life right now that there's somebody that can relate to you and there's somebody that you can talk to about these things somebody that you can come to and somebody who understands what you're going through so what I'm going to start off with um, is I'm going to start off with the reason that I got into the fitness industry and the road that it has taken me down versus the road that I was going down in the past and where, you know, the positive change that it made in my life. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start by saying what got me into the fitness industry is um, I struggled greatly with addiction with substance abuse uh, over the span of about three to four years and we'll go back a little bit even further of what got me into uh, the substance abuse what got me into using alcohol uh, very regularly very heavily uh, is something that um, is a deep topic and it's something that I know people out there, especially girls, especially women, it doesn't matter how old you are, uh, that can relate to what I'm going to talk about today uh, and that is sexual assault. Uh, sexual assault we know is one of the most unreported crimes that there is and the reason being is because you know the victims don't come forward because they're ashamed, uh, they're embarrassed. They're worried about what is going to be said about them. And so when I was 13, I was sexually assaulted. And I was one of those statistics, statistics, sorry. And I kept it inside. I didn't tell anybody because I was worried about what people would say. I was worried that I would be the one to blame. I was embarrassed about what happened. I felt ashamed of myself. And that led me down a road that I began to be extremely good at hiding who I was as a person. I lost myself uh, completely over the span of quite a few years because I, from that moment that I decided not to tell anybody, I went down a road where... I I hid things inside. I became I kind of became a different person, and later on, it led me down a road where it's one of those things where you try to forget and you start to turn to other things that will kind of numb the you know the pain of what happened or it will help you forget those memories and that's what got me into the substance abuse um i was using drugs very heavily i was drinking extremely heavily every single day i was partying for days and days on end and i lost so much of who i was as a person and you know over the span of 4 years um i was worried I started to get worried for myself that I was going to be going down a path that was going to get me nowhere very fast, probably dead. Um, and, you know, I was scrolling through Facebook one day and I seen posts of the Olympia show on and I seen all the competitors, bikini, figure, women's physique, women's bodybuilding. And I thought to myself, wow, that's that's something that I want to do. I want to, that's what I want to be. That's who I am, I think, as a person. And from that day forward, that the fitness industry is something that completely changed my life. It took me down a new path. When I decided fitness was what I wanted to do, that was the day that I broke free from my addiction of substance. I decided to myself that I wanted to make a commitment to change my life 
because I knew where I was going with what I was doing and it was not going to be very good for me. So I decided that I was going to compete in my first show and from the day that I decided to start my prep, it completely took me down a more positive lifestyle, a more positive road, um, something where I actually felt like I could accomplish something. And it brought who I truly was deep down inside as a person that I'd been hiding for all those years. It brought that back. And I, um, you know, I felt like I could be myself again. I was truly me and it was coming out. And I was, you know, I was so excited about this new journey and looking back on it now, I can say that fitness is one of the things, one of the main things in my life that I'm so incredibly grateful for. And the reason that I became a coach was because I wanted to help those people that are going through a struggle, that are going through issues with their self-confidence, because we know that no matter what kind of trauma you go through, and, and it just doesn't matter if you're male, female, it doesn't matter. Um, trauma can bring, you know, low confidence, low self-esteem. It can, you know, it can kind of change who you are as a person. And that's what it did to me. And I wanted to reach out to those people and I wanted to help them. I, my main goal in life is to bring, help bring that self-confidence and, you know, that pride in who you are as a person and back to your life. And it's, it's something that, and the reason that I'm talking about it is because I'm so grateful for it. You know, it's been my mission that I want to spread that to, to the people that need it the most, the people that want help, the people who come to me for help. And that is, that's the main reason that I became a coach. And that's one of the things that, um, you know, my my biggest thing and you know my message that I want to put out there especially with my posts on Instagram my posts on Facebook with my pictures and everything is that no who you are deep down inside who you truly are in your heart bringing that out in yourself is one of the most beautiful things um, that you can do in your life and that's why like I've always pushed the envelope with pushing stereotypes of especially what society says that women should be, you know, and I think what you should be is who you are deep down in, and that doesn't matter what it is physically, you know, being who you are and being proud of who you are is one of the most brings such a beauty to life and that's what I that's the message message that I want to be, uh, bring across and that's what I want to help people achieve and that's the reason you know why I do what I do and and it and I just want people to know that it doesn't matter matter what struggles you're going through um whether it's addiction whether it's you know eating disorders um, trauma, trying to recover or heal from trauma, there is somebody that relates to you and you can turn your life around and you can take yourself down a different path and down a different positive, uh, positive path. And with that being said, um, that's the reason why I'm making this video is because I want those people to know whether you're female, whether you're male, whether you're younger, whether you're older, it doesn't matter. There, you know, there is somebody that relates to you and there is somebody that you can reach out to. And if you even just want, you know, if you feel like you need to get, you know, things that you've gone through off your chest or you just need to talk about it you just need an ear you just need somebody that will listen that will understand your struggles I am more than happy to be that person that you can come to that you can send a message to and just say you know hey I'm kind of dealing with this struggle and I am more than happy I want to help people understand that no matter what you're going through somebody there there is somebody out there that understands and that can help you and that can help turn your life around and help you bring that confidence and bring who you are out as a person in yourself um, so 
I hope that wasn't too like wordy to, you know, all over the map a little bit, but I just, I felt it was really important to get this out there. Um, and I think it's really important that, especially being a, a trainer myself, um, that I do that because, you know, a lot of people don't think that, you know, because you're fit, you, you don't understand what they're going through. Um, when that's not the case, you know, we, we do, there's, you would be quite surprised at, you know, what we can relate to and what we can understand with what you're going through. So with that being said, um, I really hope if you're going through a struggle right now or if you're if you've gone through things in the past that you're ashamed to talk about or that things you find that you're going down a road to either get rid of those memories or numb the pain of what's happened reach out and I can help you. I can help you take your life down a different path. And even if that just means just talking to me, sending me a message saying, Hey, this is what I'm going through right now. And if, if I can just give you a piece of advice, um, to help change your life around, that's really what I want to do. So I hope that wasn't too like wordy and too like flaily for my first video post, but I just felt that it was really important to get that out there. And I'll probably start making more video posts like this every now and again. Um, but again, if you're having, if you're going through a struggle right now, send me a message. I'm more than happy to talk to you, to help you, to give you advice or, you know, just, you know, a word of encouragement that it's going to be okay. I understand. Um, and... I, I can relate to you and I can understand what you're going through and you're not alone with what you're going through. So if you feel that you want to send me a message or get in contact with me, uh, feel free and I would be more than happy to talk to you. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thanks for listening.